In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make this fast spinning effect in After Effects. You can download this project file in the description down below. Making a new tutorial for each day of the year. Day 77 of 365. I'm going to create a line with the pen tool to make this effect. So just a single straight line. And center this. Also add a round cap. I already have my line, but you can make this with any type of layer you want. So let's rotate this. Press R. Make a keyframe, now I'm gonna move to the third second and give 15 full rotations. Now it will rotate like this really fast, but I want this to start rotating slow. So I'm going to ease the first keyframe with F9. Now move to the graph editor with the speed graph and move this all the way to 100%. Now to the 6th second, make another 15 rotations, so it will be 30. And do the same thing, this is rough editor. And this point of the middle, I'm going to double click and make this continuous. So it will not stop. Now we already have the rotations. Now to make this look like it goes faster, we are going to add a effect. Let's add the effect fair. Now with this effect applied we can distort the layer changing this value and also we can control the radius of how much this effect affects. You don't need to have so much radius, just make sure you grab the whole layer. Let's make a keyframe and first let's set how much we want to distort this. So I want this to distort like this. Now press U to see all the keyframes and this keyframe let's move it here at the middle and here at the beginning it will be zero so set to zero and at the end zero also now this is the first keyframe with f9 and move this handle until something like 70 percent and do the same thing with the end and we will have this effect now now you can see it looks a little better we can improve this by adding a motion blur Or another way is by adding some smear effect with the echo effect and this effect basically makes copies of your layer and we will set the next values. You can change these values as you want but for the echo time we are going to set minus 0 0.005 for the number of echoes 10 and 40 decay 0.8 and select here composite in front. Now let's see how this changes. Okay, at the beginning looks good, but here at the middle, because it's too fast, you can start to see each copy. A way to solve this is by decreasing the echo time. So, for example, instead of 005, let's put 001, and there you can see, and also increase the number of echoes. But now in the beginning you will not really see that smear effect. So the other way to solve this is by adding a motion blur, but this will take more time to render. So make sure you only enable the motion blur for rendering. And now it will look like this. That's pretty cool, right? And here for the end I'm going to add a little overshoot because it ends really abruptly. So for rotation I'm going to make another keyframe here forward and this keyframe when it stops I'm going to keep rotating this by a little bit. And now for this last keyframe I'm going to the graph editor and increase the influence to something like 70%. And now we will have this. If this was helpful for you, consider liking and subscribing. And you can download this project file in the description down below. If you're starting in motion graphics, want to improve fast and build a solid portfolio, join Animation Essentials in the link in the description.